Good day everybody, today we're gonna try out something very weird. Today we had a system update that made it so fragments cost a little bit less and that allowed me to combine both last recall where you teleport out and you can teleport back to the location where you teleported from, which is this. I can teleport straight to Venonatus and also absolute unit is now only three fragments. I get 50% damage reduction from all sources and 100% damage reflection back. In other words, this boss is gonna kill himself. Now you've probably seen this before, but I've never seen it being combined with Crystal of Memories. Oh, he takes the full damage. And while he's not in multi, he actually takes reduced damage, but it seems that it doesn't matter with Absolute Unit Relic. Now, because I take 50% less damage, I should not be able, well, to get KO'd here. Uh, the boss is basically killing himself. That That's, I think that's the meta of killing Venonatus. I mean, it's not as fast as I thought. Like, it still takes, like, quite a bit to kill. I think it's because of the 50% damage reduction, so he cannot really max anything good on me. Now, all of the damage was with the Reflect, though. Did I get the loot? No, I didn't. God damn it, it actually counts as a recoil. I can just use the memory to teleport straight back to Venonatus. I know that I got the ring already, so there's nothing really that I can get from Venonatus. However, I still need a dragon pickaxe, but I could get it at Callisto. The problem with Callisto is too deep and worldy, and I cannot use my seed pot to teleport out and instantly teleport back. So if I just shoot him like this, that's it. One damage, I think that's going to be enough, and I can AFK at this point. I gotta say that this 99 defense really does not help. I need to drain it somehow because I get hit a lot of zeros so if it does it with the basic attacks. Okay, that should be my kill now. Yes, it is. That's how easy it is to kill Venonatus. You literally just AFK. Last kill was 1 minute 27 seconds. This one is a minute. It's so quick. It's actually the meta to kill Venonatus. I'm 100%. You don't need to lure it. Nothing. You literally just stand in one place and that's it. Don't cut rubies and diamonds. 1 minute and 21 seconds for this kill. Okay, this has to be sub 1 minute. 100%. Yes, 53 seconds <laughs> for some magic logs. So what I'm very curious about, if you maybe... Uh, the, the dogs will not summon me because it's not really damage. Is this going to be reflected? No, it's not. Oh, that sucks. So it's just basic hits and those shatter attacks. Maybe the dogs will not summon. The game will think like, oh, well, it's 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 just reflection damage. It doesn't count. Any moment now, the dog should it actually should have spawned. But maybe, maybe, oh, God, wait, wait, move out of this. Come on, one more. Please, dogs, don't spawn. I, I'm very sure the dogs are not spawning. Do it again. Okay, I don't want to attack it. The dogs are not spawning, man. Question, will I get the kill? Because I did damage on the first phase, but not the second phase. Maybe just counts the second phase and it's going to be like, no, nah, it's not your kill. You do get, you do get the kill and that was defeat Vettian. So it seems that it is possible to do it with one single inventory as long as you dodge all of these because they don't reflect and they just give you damage. Uh, that's some blood runes and it did take me two minutes and 47 seconds approximately. You see, it says 133. That's a lie. Two minutes. Yeah, it's like... Three minutes per kill, maybe, including with banking, uh, which is slow. It's 20 kills an hour. Okay, so how about I try this in good places where I can actually get nice upgrades for my account, such as Kriara. They made it so it costs less than previously, and I got a bunch of points now, so I can just unlock every single God Wars boss that I can. Yes, irreversible, unlock it. Also, as far as I know, the kill count persists, so if I teleport out, it's just gonna stay, so you just need to get it once. Dragon Boots, yes, at 29 KC, now I can kill those lower level aviances, where's the task? Yeah, equip, thanks. So let's go to a private instance, I'm very curious how this is gonna work out, so you don't pray at all, you just allow the boss to hit you. Also, because of the minions, I may take way more extra damage than I should be, and hopefully this whole inventory is gonna be enough. Dude, 30, I love this already, look at the attack speed of, oh god, it's the sound, you guys don't hear it, wait, I'll put it on. Here we go, enjoy it. It's probably not as loud. Jesus, dude, stop it, man. Oh my god. Okay, <clears throat> I should probably not... Wait, wait, I need to hit it. I forgot, it deals so much damage that I didn't even hit the boss. If I don't hit it, I'm not gonna get the kill. I could just pray range, actually. <laughs> I just realized, like, j just pray range. If, if Oh, there we go. Now take it off. Dude, you need a lot of food, though. I'm so glad I have, like, 3,000 uh, cooked Conum 1. The very first KC is a Godsword Shard. Okay. You don't teleport out from here because this is actually an instant. So you first teleport here and then you teleport to Castle Wars. Grab the Conum ones, teleport back immediately and just go inside. Wow, this should take no time getting the all of the drops. This will help at Zelda. Godsword Shard 3 at 7kc. Armadillo Health, the very first 
drop at 17 kill count look at this beauty the moroccan side fragment i think this would be good for zaldra maybe if you just camp one style when wearing four zamorak items okay and you, you need four zami items i don't know if i have that 250 percent increased magic accuracy just flat you don't need to have zero prayer nothing God Sword Shard 2. Wait, that's a new one because the collection lock popped out. Wait, do I have the God Sword already? Wait, God Sword Shard 3. I, I don't see the same. That means it is. Yes, it is. Armadillion, God Sword, 4 points. 125 leak point. There we go. Dude, I actually, if I go to Wildy, I got. Dude, I have to take this weapon and just randomly spec people. Just, just you know, not chase them, but just like do, 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 and then bam. Armadillion, Chain Skirt. At 107. Yes! Fill me up with that dopamine. It's not even yellow text color. Was that? Uh, was it pink? Equip a piece of the Armadillo armor set. Another God Sword shard. Another Armadillo held. Bro, hey, this is gonna go straight to the death's coffer, baby. Maybe not yet. Maybe I wanna, at the end of the leagues, you know, have a bunch of items and be like, yo. This is what I got in this league. I had 3,000 cooked carnivore today. I'm left with 229. You literally use at least 20 per one single armadillo KC. I have, what, 128? That's like 2.5k gone just at armadillo. Dude, this, oh my god, it's too quick. I'm already 99 cooking. This gives 68,000 experience or 63k per one inventory. And I just do it like this. I still use it on it because there's no uh, two tick delay, I believe. Uh, just more instant like this. Oh, and yes, I'm getting over 50 million cooking experience an hour, as you can tell in this corner right here. <laughs> I thought crafter was fast enough, but cooking is just on another level. Okay, finished. Took no time to do this. Look, what is that? Your dine and dash fragment glows. This is the additional food that was placed in my bank. 1,800 cooked condom ones for free. That's literally what it is. I got 6,000 cooked condom ones. From 200 count of ones to 6,000 almost. Okay, I'm gonna try a different method because sometimes you really don't hit armadillo and you need that one hit, one XP drop so you actually get the drop. If you reflect all the damage, you don't get the drop. Okay, I hit zero. I'm gonna on purpose not hit anything. The troll just dealt two damage. That's it. It should be my kill. Yes. Oh no, it's so close. Uh, it's teleport out and it did count. It did count. Okay, all, all good then. Another. <laughs> Armadil, chain scared. Thank you for keeping a motivation up though at this Armadil. That's a lot for Death Scoffer though. That would cover everything. Okay, I think I'm done with Armadil right now. 181 KC. I'm gonna log off to just update the high scores. And here I am, rank 12 with one item. You could say one item that I can equip as I was going for armor. It's okay, I'll be back. It's no problem at all because it's fairly fast kills. So all the clips that we just seen were actually from the future and the video was supposed to start now, so yeah i'm gonna yeah let's let's see hello everyone first of all i'm gonna go ahead and upgrade my zerker ring and archer's ring couldn't find this thing i forgot that i have to unlock the tazar task otherwise it will not be anywhere in here and pick this one i'm very curious to see how blowpipe is going to work with double tap fragment where i have 60 percent chance that is going to double hit the enemy and then i also have the lower hp i am it darox effect essentially 22, 23, oh my god, <laughs> dude, this guy belted immediately, I want to see those 360s, because these guys don't even have enough HP for me to test on, on them, okay, let's see, the 360, I'm low HP, oh, that's 2011, 249, yeah, 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 oh god, oh, okay, wait, I'm gonna show you the next skill, this went way too quick, okay, let's see if this is gonna be similar to my last one, those double hits, man, Blowpipe is already like so quick and it just these are very low hits by the way last skill was It is very consistent. There we go. That's what I like to see 1322. All right, let's see if this one is going to be any different. There we go. That's what I like to see. There we go Yes, yes, just like the very first one Then a bunch of zeros. Oh, that was dude. What the hell did you just get melted in front of my eyes? All right, here comes the Jad. I want to see how his defenses are you see, I'm 20 HP. Again, I have to keep it low for Darok's effect, but when the healer's gonna come out, uh, I may have to heal up. It's fairly okay so far. Nothing really major that I'm hitting, but he is... I wonder if I could just 
focus on Jad itself right now, like not, not even attack the healers. Oh yeah, oh god, they are healing him heavily. I don't know if it's a Taz, but unfortunately this is not going to be sub 30 minutes, which it's already like, it's a massive, very quick task to complete because I'm 89 range, I don't have any Anguish Amulet, nothing. I also just gained a Comet Fragment apparently. Isn't that a maximum tier as well? Like the maximum of the maximum. And I'm very sure this was a task. So when you chisel the blowpipe, it gives you a task completed. You don't have to equip it. Do you actually have to equip the Serpentine Helmet? Yes, you do. That's four points. No way, dude. No way. Dude, like, I, I literally, that's my second k kill. So Sears Ring is the only from this goober right here who doesn't want to drop it but i got blow pipe this time unlike last time sometimes also can double shot so i think it's gonna take no time at all sears ring that's it and completely finish with diagnose kings if you don't count the pets obviously let me equip that then equip this back three points man three points since prime is the only dagnaut that i have to kill i thought of a new tactic that i'm gonna do i have no reason to kill this guy anymore even if he drops a zerkering i do not care about it now i'm going to assume if i go to slayer cave there's gonna be nobody here and i don't mind if this guy attacks me yeah that's fine just eat up a little bit oh god i may actually not die teleport out what happened the answer is Nothing happened. I can just teleport back by using crystal memories. That's what I'm gonna do. It just makes sense. Yep, you get teleported back to the same place. Easy look, kill this guy. Air talismans. I could pick up the bones, but I'm not gonna do that and hop worlds now. There, there is a minute and a half respawn timer in this. I'll probably pick two worlds and just keep hopping because I don't want to hop into like every single world because there may be actually somebody in the Slayer cave. So hopefully in the next one, there's nobody and I can keep those two worlds to myself. So let's see if by hopping worlds, the memories still work, and they do, and I just teleport back, and here I am. Yes, got it, 59 KC, that took like 9 KC, and that's the final thing from this place, that's it, it's completely finished, minus the pets, task completed, get the hell out of this place. Uh, I didn't go dry, I gotta say, I was very... Uh, generous. Thank you, Dagnoth Kings. It's really sad that I have to leave this place so early. I think it's about time I do this. Gnome 2, Monkey Menace 2. That means I can now have access to Xenites. And I wanted to go to Revenants to make money, but why not kill Demonic Gorillas? You also, you also get a bunch of alchemists. I just got refunded 230 Sage Renowned points. They made it so everything costs like half the cost now because it was a little bit too grindy in the early game. I literally have 230 now to spend. Temple Knight, give me that. I don't know what that was. I should have probably read what it was, but I so let's just go. I have too many points now. I'm trying to get some Xenite jewelry right now. I did Shadow of the Storm quest myself, which means I had to do Demon Slayer and also the Golem, which is not that much, but I, I'm not planning to quest in this league. I went to try it out and it doesn't work with Twin Strikes, meaning it, it doesn't double hit. I'm like, huh? Well, that's kind of odd. And apparently it, it literally, it, it doesn't. It, they know that. <laughs> but it was just announced. I didn't know that it was like this before. See, this is Arclight with 4,000 charges. In other words, a Vissel Whip is probably more powerful than Arclight at the moment. No. <laughs> this guy was throwing darts. What is that? Addy darts at Gorillas. No, he died. <laughs> Look at this clip. I, s I was ranging because it was spraying melee. Then when it was spraying range, I swapped to melee, but immediately swapped to basically I dealt too much damage. It, it Triple swap prayer right there. Glug's experiments, 100 demonic gorillas. This is exactly on the drop rate, and I got zero Xenites, and it's okay. I want to make some amethyst darts because I looked it up. Apparently, they're even better than Rune, and I think there's like plus 12 difference in range strength from Addy, which I was using right now. So that would be just overall good for Zolra, fight caves, demonics just everywhere. I'm not sure how slow it is to make them, but you do need 92 mining, which I will be boosting plus 8, but you need 90 fletching as well. So that's why I'm making these. I, I don't want to make darts since I'm not going to be using them. So instead I'm making bolts. I got almost a thousand new logs and 300 magic logs. I boosted my stats so I can make this. Also, I'm getting 50% more XP from this one relic. 
it's the same XP as you would attach the dart tips, just a set of 10. There's nothing really incredible, but yeah, no, let me just, I have nothing else, so I'll have to do it like this. 84 mining, this didn't take long. The, it's 1.8 million experience an hour, and now I can mine amethyst. I've never done this before. I gotta say that making these amethyst dart tips is just not worth it. This takes way too long to mine. Even with triple resources, it's way, way too slow. I've already been in here. You can check maybe the XP an hour in here. I don't know. What is it like? Uh, 15 minutes I've been in here uh, just to get this amount. If I was mining rune rocks with 100% chance of them being banged, and smelt it automatically so don't have to use that eight coal that you usually need to i think that's just way quicker not only that you get 50 percent more dart tips when you're smithing them eventually it, it's just way quicker it's not worth it for plus two more strength bonus compared to rune that's probably good xp though oh yes 2.5k per dart made so instead i'm gonna use all these rune bars that i got and use them on uh, gorillas i don't want to waste any amethyst arrows on them it's gonna be for zolra while editing this video i managed to catch almost five thousand raw kind of ones thank you very much for watching i'll see you tomorrow hopefully I'm trying to make daily videos and hopefully i can push it sometimes i don't get enough sleep but who knows okay thank you bye and bye bye